Well, from Forever 21 to Sears, Max to Jacob, Canada's retail graveyard grows every year. But one brand was just resurrected three years after Aeropostale filed for bankruptcy protection in the U.S. and shut down all its Canadian stores. It's returning to Canada thanks to a licensing deal with the retailer Blue Notes. Paige Ellis spoke to Blue Notes CEO about this unlikely comeback story. I think that uh, what's happening is that there hasn't been any new uh, retailers in the teen market entering Canada in the last, uh, you know, since Aeropostale uh, left. And uh, we know there's a strong following here in Canada for Aeropostale through their online uh, services out of the United States. So bringing them back to Canada, we feel that it's the right time and it's, uh, it's a good news story. It's like, you know, there's been a lot of not so good news stories. What was it about the Canadian market? right now that made sense for you to do this deal? What was it about the market at this exact moment that you, that you said, okay, now's the time to reintroduce this brand? We, we obviously have seen a lot of retailers exiting the market. Um, definitely Aeropostale is a key brand in the US now with denim, and denim is definitely our key uh, objective here. But I think also with Forever 21 leaving, um, we know that uh, Abercrombie and Hollister has got themselves back on track. Um, we believe that uh, the timing is perfect, you know, and by testing the uh, shopping shops, it really gives us a true understanding how the customer is going to uh, respond when we start opening up uh, freestanding. You mentioned Forever 21. Uh, they were blamed, partly blamed, for Aeropostale's exit from Canada as, you know, they gained so much traction with the young consumer and Aeropostale was somewhat pushed out. So it's accurate to say that their exit it was kind of an opportunistic moment for Aeropostale to come back into this market? Absolutely, absolutely. I think that, you know, there's a market here that, you know, the customer wants uh, Aeropostale. As I said earlier, we know that they're shopping online um, and there's quite a Canadian following. So we've been pretty, you know, it's only been 10 days and we've had a, a very successful uh, 10 days. We rolled it out across 75 uh, Blue Note stores and um, will be a hundred stores by the time we get to the next season. So it's great testing for us. How do you make sure you don't repeat the mistakes that Aeropostale made in this market in the past? Uh, number one, understand your customer. Understand what the customer likes and what the customer doesn't like. We, um, we set up the store here in Oakville as a, as a test store and we're monitoring what's selling, what colors, styling, um, our philosophy is, you know, make sure you're delivering every day on the customer's promise, what they're enjoying, what they're not, and adjust your assortment to what they need. What about promotions? One of the criticisms when Aeropostale left Canada was that it was promoting too much and that it couldn't wean its consumers off promotions. As I was coming into the store, I already noticed some 40% off Aeropostale sales. What's your promotion strategy? Our promotion strategy is um, in Canada, we're going to price the merchandise right. Obviously, during the holiday season, we're going to offer our grand uh, opening with a 40% off. But basically, we feel that Aeropostale has a lot, a lot of value and that we don't want to discount it. I mean, in the U.S., they still are heavily uh, promotional. We will be promotional, but not to that degree of when they were here in Canada a few years ago. There was also some concern that teens increasingly don't like to look the same. I remember when I was in high school, everyone wanted the same pair of silver jeans. Today, apparently, teens just aren't like that. They want to look like individuals. Bless them. Um, <laughs> How do you make sure that you don't fall into that trap of selling products that will, you know, just make people think they're all going to look the same? I think that the, uh, we're going to deliver collections uh, every three months, and what's going to happen is that those collections will change. So even if something has been a flying off the shelves, we will walk away from it and give the customer and the teen a new, um, a new collection uh, again in March. I think also pairing it up with Blue Notes, you know, the assortment in Blue Notes is different than Aeropostale. So the customer has a choice of, you know, buying an Aeropostale jean with a Blue Notes tee or a, a hoodie with a Blue Notes uh, jean. So they have options in the stores. Are you worried about Aeropostale, especially the shop and shop concept, cannibalizing your own sales, cannibalizing Blue Notes sales? No, because what we've done is we have taken a percentage of our overall um, inventory and business and divided it into Aeropostale. 
definitely the Blue Notes shopping shops or the Blue Note stores will still have, you know, 60 to 70 percent of the assortment, where in Aeropostale it will be 20 to 30 percent in the early days. 